right, so this is the second half of our um, Scrofito demonstration. Um, this can work for both uh, wheel thrown and hand built things, um, but the first thing you want to do before you even start your Scrofito um, is that you take your leather hard piece um, and uh, coat it with either slip or underglaze. In this case, I'm using um, the velvet underglaze. I'm using a dark chocolate because that's what I have. Um, and I'm coating the whole piece. And once you get that completely, and you can use a uh, slip or underglaze, it does not matter. Uh, the difference between the two is that if you're using slip, that you are going to leave behind um, some texture, which could be a plus thing, but definitely pay attention to the texture that you leave behind and make sure that it is purposeful. Um, with underglaze, it doesn't really matter. Um, it will flatten out. Um, so that's kind of the big difference between choosing between whether or not you want to use underglaze or slip. The other important thing is to make sure that you are picking out a color that is in high contrast to your clay body. So if you have a dark clay body, putting on a black slip is silly. And if you have a light clay body, putting on a white slip is kind of silly. So I'm not that into drawing myself, um, so I uh, rope in other people into drawing, and I had, um, so we drew a picture onto um, a piece of paper, and then I'm just laying that out onto my cup to see whether or not I like it, and of course I'm working out of frame again because that is apparently how I roll. Um, and I'm using my um, carving uh, loop tool. So this is one that I, I did ask you guys to get specifically, and it's a great scraffito tool. It's not sharp, it's actually just like a little wire, um, and it works spectacular for um, doing your carvings and that sort of stuff. This is much better than a needle tool because the needle tool tends to make um, a very sharp line, and we don't actually want a sharp line, we wanna pull that stuff away. And so basically I'm just tracing over the drawing and it doesn't even have to be exact it's just like kind of giving me a general idea about size and shape um, and I'll like you know put the little eyeballs on that sort of stuff but if I miss pot spots it's like not a big deal I do want to press down hard enough that I can kind of see that mark so let's see if I can show there it is you can see it um, so it's really light as you can see and that's just enough to kind of give me something to go off of okay so let me show you what the needle tool line so you can see the needle tool line is very fine and it also leaves like a lot of crumbs and stuff um, and it's just not what I'm going for so I'm going to pull this back and then you can kind of see the sort of line that I'm going for. So that actually gives you a lot more, it shows you a lot more of the work and it's not just pushing clay down, it's actually removing clay. Um, also, this is definitely much, um, so it's, this is like a stiff leather hard. Um, if your clay is too wet, you're just gonna get a bunch of smeary messes. Um, so don't, if it's getting worse instead of better, don't do that. So you should be getting kind of like a crummy sort of um, peel away. Not so much like, not like when, um, if we were like trimming on the wheel or something like that, where you get that whole spaghetti stripe. Like I'm not getting a spaghetti stripe. I am getting, this is on the drier side, um, but not bone dry. Then this tool wouldn't work out that great for that. Um, the other thing that you want to be thinking about is like, this is, you're basically drawing onto your surface and um, like if I had done this with a dark clay body and a white slip then it would kind of work like if we were drawing with a pencil. Um, I'm just kind of working with that reverse of a dark like a dark paper with like a white chalk you could think of it that way um, but don't just do your outline like think about how you want to kind of fill in those lines and remember that the texture also matters because you can see like the little texture that I put into so these are my little like cat it's two of my favorite things together at once cats and fungus so it's these are my cat fungi um, and uh, you can see in the ears that it kind of has a little bit of like a hairy texture and right now these little like outlines are not really doing it for me so I'm gonna like so let's work on that a little bit um, and kind of play around with how I want those marks to look and to kind of because that texture creates part of what we're looking at so I think looking at woodblock prints are a really great way if you have ever taken a printmaking class oh my gosh this is exactly your printmaking class especially when you're doing like lino cut um, or woodblock printing um, this is the same same concept 
So uh, just going through and um, kind of adding to the things, adding adding detail, like really makes this a lot better. Um, I would encourage you to really fill up your surface. Um, that is what I'm looking for in this like project is to fill and cover your surface with these uh, with your drawing. Um, and it can be whatever drawing you want. So if you want to um, do some sort of pattern, by all means. If you want to just freehand this, by all means. Um, I I like to work with drawings just because looking at a blank cam, like at a blank canvas, and by blank, blank canvas I mean like a thing of clay. Because once you put your mark on there, you don't get to go back and erase it. So um, I like I just like using other people's drawings. Um, and you can too. It's you can do whatever you want, guys. Um, what I don't want to see, though, is I don't want to see, like, just, like, your name scratched into the side of this. I am looking for um, some sort of quality and showing me sort of different line marks and showing me that you're playing around with, like, kind of shading and the color and that sort of stuff, not just um, scrawling your name across the surface, especially if you're just doing that with your needle tool. It's, like, if you have really fine lines, it's not going to work well with a glaze. It will fill up. It's going to be funky. Thank you. 